Jimmy was cutting every link between himself and the robbery, but it had nothing to do with me. I gave Jimmy the tip and he gave me some Christmas money. From then on, I kept my mouth shut. I knew Jimmy. He had the cash. It was his. I know he kicked some money upstairs to Paulie, but that was it. Made him sick to have to turn money over to the guys who stole it. He'd rather whack them. Anyway, what did I care? I wasn't asking for anything, and besides, Jimmy was making nice money with me through my Pittsburgh connections. Still, months after the robbery, they were finding bodies all over. The heat is on. The heat is on. When they found Carbone in the meat truck, he was frozen so stiff it took them two days to thaw him out for the autopsy. Still, I never saw Jimmy so happy. He was like a kid. We had money coming in through my Pittsburgh people, and even after a while, the Lufthansa thing began to calm down. But the thing that made Jimmy so happy that morning was that this was the day that Tommy was being made. Jimmy was so excited, you'd think he was being made. He must have made four calls to Tommy's house. They had a signal all set up so he'd know that the minute that the ceremony was over. Ah, Ma, where are you? Oh, here I am. Oh. Home? Home, I'm leaving. I've been here all the way. Let me look at you. What do you think? I look good. You look wonderful. Listen, and just be careful. Congratulations. I wish you lots of luck. I love you. Don't paint any more religious pictures, please. Be careful. God be with you. Bye, Ma. You know, we always called each other good fellas. Like you'd say to uh, somebody, you're gonna like this guy, he's all right. He's a good fella, he's one of us. You understand? We were good fellas, wise guys. But Jimmy and I could never be made because we had Irish blood. It didn't even matter that my mother was Sicilian. To become a member of a crew, you've got to be 100% Italian so they can trace all your relatives back to the old country. See, it's the highest honor they can give you. It means you belong to a family and a crew. It means that nobody can fuck around with you. It also means you could fuck around with anybody just as long as they aren't also a member. It's like a license to steal. It's a license to do anything. Well, I was doing it, huh? All right, thank you, baby. Hey, how many years ago was you with me? Ah, I don't know. 30 years ago. 30 years, huh? Yeah. It's back a lot of memories. And how? Mike's feet was a fucking pistol then, wasn't it? <laughs> As far as Jimmy was concerned, with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. We would now have one of our own as a member. <laughs>